Whoa! Oh, Pulse Motor Build Off. What's up, everybody? So, my name is Russ with RWGresearch.com, and uh, on behalf of 10 Man as well from the IAEC forums, um, this is Pulse Motor Build Off. Uh, yeah, you guys have until the end of this weekend. The final videos need to be posted. Be uh, well before the 22nd. So you guys have until the end of this weekend, basically, to get those videos posted. Post them over at the forums. Um, post them on YouTube and just link them. That's the best way to do it. And yeah, so this is actually my official entry to the Pulse Motor Build Off. Um, this is a uh, beginning half, and I'll stick my three to four minute segment video probably on the end of this. Really don't want to make a whole separate video, but uh, you guys got to get to hurry up and get it done. So I know that the rules and stuff this year kind of complicated, hard, not really the easiest pulse mortar build off this uh, this round. And uh, well, frankly, I think mine was a total fail. But I built some pretty cool stuff, and I'll show you what I built, and that'll be my entry. So the moral of the story is I had a lot of fun doing it, and the thing about it is that even if it's not complete, finished, or working, whatever, still put it in the entry, okay? Put it in the entry, show what you've done, and show us that you're interested and had a lot of fun doing it, because that's the whole purpose of the gig. Um, have some fun, and learn, share, knowledge, and cool beans. So, yes, that's all I got to tell you as far as Pulse Motor Build-Off is concerned. Um, definitely just go enter, and the judges, I think, but I'm not for certain, that possibly me and Tin Man will be the last judge will uh, decide together on what we like the best and uh, why we pick what we pick and of course Mark Danzi and Zero Fossil Fuel will be judging first and second place freaking awesome and then uh, the winners will have their place on the Smart Scarecrow show I'm not sure of the date yet for that but whenever that happens we will inform the winners uh, and they will have the opportunity to do that um, I guess if they don't want to do that that's okay but it's your 15 minutes of fame. You'll have about 15 minutes. We'll probably end up running your segment of your Pulse Motor Build-Off entry and then give you uh, the chance to talk about it. Uh, if something like that needs to be pre-recorded, that is not a big deal. Um, but we definitely want to give you guys exposure and make this a yearly event. Um, this is actually the second one for this year, so it's been kind of uh, crazy. I, have, I haven't been able to put quite as much effort as I did the first time. But I still put some effort into it, and I think you like what I come up with. So, starting now, this is my official, my official entry. Let's get started. Woohoo! Okay, Pulse Motor Build Off entry for Russ. This is actually what I came up with. This, for those of you who recognize what this type of device is, is a Lord Kelvin um, thunderstorm water droplet high voltage generator now the idea behind this is that I will actually be using gravity as my source of power yes that's right a gravity pulse motor didn't think it was possible did you and then I plan on using the high voltage I got out of this device to run my pulse motor what happened was I couldn't get it to work so let's pour some water in this bad boy and I'll show you what happens all right, so I have here just some plain old water right out of the tap. Let's see if it works. Watch. There it went. So you can see the high voltage jump in there. Okay. And what's really, really, really cool, if I can get the light to show this, is the water droplets. Because what happens to the water droplets is they fly everywhere. And they make a giant mess all over the floor. And they actually fly around 
And I had to put these shields up because the water flies around so bad. There you can see it. The water flies around so bad that it flings water everywhere and it gets all over the floor. Gets everywhere else. It's really amusing. I'll make a better, longer video for you guys, but I gotta keep this short for the pulse motor build off. So there's the first half of my entry. Oh, by the way, in case you were wondering, the top of this thing is a glass vase that I drilled a hole in the bottom of. And I have two hoses coming out of here with these little clamps that I'm using for flow control. And then you can see how these are put together. And then I've got plastic shields because the water will actually screw it up. Whoop, whoop. All right. Okay, okay. So here is the second half of the pulse motor that I had designed and built um, to run off the high voltage from my Lord Kelvin water generator over there. And basically, I can, uh, I have a little bitty uh, 7500 volt high voltage source and what I've done is I've charged up this water capacitor that I have made out of a bottle some salt some aluminum foil and a stainless steel bolt and this little pulse motor will run off of this high voltage for a very long time I know that is hard to see but there is a wire right there flipping around and every time that one of these plates gets charged, it's attracted to the other side. Check out the check out the amount of current in this capacitor. Huh, water capacitor. That's silly. Alright, so I've got the high voltage connected to it because I want to show you this thing will run. I'll show you what I got here. I uh, machined a couple of slots. I've got a couple of ceramic. Um, pieces that I had and then these are just aluminum foil taped plastic it's actually the rim of a bucket and it's just a needle you just have a needle here it just sits on the needle give it just a little bump and away it goes happy little spinner. This thing uses like micro 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 amps. Hardly uses any amperage whatsoever. But it does need high voltage to run. So that is my pulse motor build off entry. This four minute limit I think I ran over so I disqualified myself. But I can't help it. I tend to make long videos. Sorry. This thing's still running over here. All right, well, peace out. Good luck to you all. I'll see you soon, and uh, the winners will be announced as soon as we have them. Peace. Oh, man, I forgot to tell you guys something. Just not enough time. I uh, also have this uh, linen jar that I made, two of them. These are just glass linen jars with uh, basically an aluminum foil insert and then aluminum foil on the outside and these things are pretty cool high voltage wise these things are pretty cool but the salt water one definitely houses a lot more punch